It's your favorite horror movie monsters, as reimagined by Saturday Morning Cartoons. Do you nerd for Toony Terrors? Hey, what's that? Let's take a look. It's time for a closer up NECA answered the question, what if some of the new classic horror movie icons were to appear in a Hanna-Barbera cartoon? This video is showing off Wave 3 of the Toonie Terrors. If you would like to see Waves 1 and 2, please check out the links in the description below. And at last, we are at Wave 3. Now, Wave 4 has already been announced, and depending on when this video goes up, it could be out there already. And you know that we're going to be picking up all of those figures. Wave 3, again, did just a trio of characters. Ladies first, so there's the nun. <laughs> <laughs> Now, she is pretty spooky in the face if you were to compare her to a Scooby-Doo monster. Honestly, she looks the most like a Scooby-Doo monster to me of all of them. Do you think it's her misproportioned arms? I think it's the misproportioned arms. It's the comical, ridiculous pose they have her in. I mean, those feet are just hilarious looking. I can literally hear that, do -do 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 -do, you know, that weird running oh, noise that they make? She's definitely chasing the, them through the The balls. legs are spinning and everything. And honestly, the only thing that's really scary about her is her face. She does have that kind of creepy, scary face. Well, she moves a bit at the waist. You can spin her all the way around if you'd like. Her head, uh, there's a little bit of movement, but you got to watch out for that habit. And of course, her arms have some long clawed fingers and swiping action. <laughs> does she have a bad habit? Got a bad habit of uh, jumping out of pictures. Which, funny enough, she is comes what in. she comes with. <laughs> so, look at that. She's got her own selfie with her. I could care less about the movie. I didn't find it really all that scary. I didn't really care about it. The story was kind of eh. But the figure, one, we got it because we're completing this, the collection. But two, she actually is kind of scary. She's, for some reason, she's a lot scarier than the movie was. So on her cover, she does have some uh, candelabras and it looks like a tombstone. Here lies Father Anthony Burke. Mm. And then on the back, her hallway that she can run down. And no one's gonna yell at her because she's a nun. She can do whatever she wants. <laughs> and then we have an oldie, but a goodie. Here we have Nosferatu. Oh, look at the length of those arms. Well, you know, that's pretty on par for the movie. I'm pretty sure these two are brother and sister. Hey, uh, touching me. She's touching me. I'm not touching you. Oh, you're touching me. Not touching. Touching me. It's free air. Uh, we've got movement here. The arms go up and down. The hands kind of rotate out at the wrists and then the wrists will move in and out he really very rarely has any movement in his head i think that collar sticks up too much and that's about it he also doesn't like to stand very well because his arms make him really top heavy so this is the figure that we were talking about when discussing freddy krueger's base this is somebody that would have benefited from a base and he comes with a little rat as his <laughs> little friend now he looks great and having that very tall, lean figure, he's very much in the realm of a Scooby-Doo villain. But there those, we go. those arms, <laughs> those arms crack me up. Dulcine from uh, Street Fighter is totally jealous of him. <laughs> so the card that he comes with, he's just kind of got his little like crypt, I guess. And then on the other side, we have a barrel with a rat. The rat's getting into the good stuff. I know, the rat gets everywhere. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least. The one we were most excited for. Oh my for. gosh, yes. Another shout out to the Atari creep as we were picking up the earlier waves. He had told us that this character was on his way. And that would be... Ashley Williams from the Evil Dead movie. Ashy Slashy! 
What'd you call me? Ashy slash hatchet and saw. Takes your head and skins you raw. Look at that. He's got his <laughs> chainsaw, which, uh, you know, it's not uber detailed or anything, but again, we're going for that cartoony mm -hmm. look, and he's very brightly colored with his blue shirt. He's got a little bit of movement in his legs. He could kind of do that quick run. <laughs> it looks his, like he's doing a weird dance. His chainsaw does rotate around, and then, of course, his arm moves at the shoulder. His other arm moves at the shoulder and the elbow, which is nice because it holds on to that gun perfectly. His what? His boomstick. Boomstick. S-Mart's top of the line made by the fine people of Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's got a cobalt blue steel and a walnut stock and a hair trigger. Shop smart, shop S-Mart. You got that? <laughs> Best of all with that gun, it goes in his Sheath. Which is one of your favorite things of toys, isn't it? Anytime a toy can sheath their gun, their sword, anything. Yep. I love it. It's just the little touches like that. He's got a little bit of movement in his head. He can kind of get down with it. Groovy, baby. Yeah. His uh, neck isn't as long as the Atari Creeps figure. <laughs> That's going to drive me nuts. <laughs> Although we found out that just the head wasn't on there. <laughs> Fucking your rubber neck. We did solve the mystery of why he looked like he had a big long ass neck. I mean, he does have a long neck. I mean, they even put in the Adam's apple. What an amazing, what an amazing job. All right, I'll stop giving it alkylates. Uh, the head wasn't attached to the ball. <laughs> the head was not attached to it. But what is really impressive is the sculpt of the face. He has so much of Bruce Campbell's iconic look. The raised eyebrow, the chin, of course, and then little touches like the little cuts and damage on his face, which is perfect mm -hmm. for Ash. He's got the fireplace, and on the front, just Evil Dead posters with a certain scary stuffed <laughs> head. <laughs> I love that scene where Ash is like laughing with the lamp and everything. <laughs> Ashy Slashy can have a hug. Oh, of course he can. <laughs> ah! You found me beautiful once. No. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You want to fight Chainsaw to Chainsaw? Let's do this. Bring it down! <laughs> Bring it all down! <laughs> Are you done? Uh are you done? Well, there we have the entire, as of now, Toonie Terror line from NECA with a special customized 8-bit Jason figure. Uh, first and foremost, you really did such an awesome job oh, with that you. figure. You and Russ both have proved that they should have just made an 8-bit Jason I know, one. it's so Although, simple. Although, I'm so happy that you handcrafted that and <laughs> did so great. He looks awesome. And look at this rogues gallery. Oh my gosh. Quite a lovely little family, huh? Yeah. It uh, <laughs> looks like it is up to Ash to keep us all safe. That from is kind of interesting of to see that they are all villains and then you have Ash instead of like a deadite or something. Now, the last thing we would like to tell you guys about is the fact that, of course, we take our toys out of their packaging because we love to see all the detail and to pose them and play with them and set them up in fun environments. What have we been doing to show these guys off? Well, we have those like tabletop arcades and we love putting them at the arcade because they're the perfect height for the for the oh, arcades. Oh yeah, they're so scaled So it properly. looks like the villains have all gone to the arcade and like to go play. Something else that's kind of fun is since Tiffany and Chucky are so little and look like little kids, we basically have the two its teasing them as if <laughs> they're kids, trying to, to get them to come with him. <laughs> kids, do you want a balloon? <laughs> you could just picture Chucky. Yeah, I want a balloon. Come a little closer, old man. <laughs> I feel like Tiffany would just look at him and take her cigarette and just pop it. <laughs> <laughs> well, nerdlings, 
at this point, I would love to know if any of you are collecting any of the Toonie Terrors, whether you're going for the full line or maybe you just picked out some of your favorites. And if you happen to like the video, please give it a like. Drop some comments down below on if you're collecting or just what you think of any of these guys, especially since you got to see them out of their box. Maybe you'll go after them now. Or just let us know if you're a horror movie fan. Check out what's coming up for Wave 4 and let us know if you're going to pick out any of those or if there's anyone that you would really like to see. Mm -hmm. I think of some good iconic characters. Is there one in the Wave 4 that you're most excited to see? You know, I'm really looking forward to Beetlejuice, but Sam looks so cute. I know. Cute. I can't decide which one's going to be my favorite is Beetlejuice or Sam because, ugh, I love that trick or treat movie. Now, something that would be a lot of fun is if they could go for a pumpkin head figure. That would be cool. Or maybe uh, just like a box with four or five little gremlins in there. I wouldn't mind a Deadite, honestly. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. Ash doesn't have enough work with all these guys. <laughs> well, once more, nerdlings, please leave those comments down below. Be sure to hit that notification bell and subscribe to see what video is coming up next. And as always, like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it, we nerd it. Or scream for it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. She is so ready to run. That one is the most scary and comical one of all of them, I swear. <laughs> he looks so confused to be here. I know. He's like, uh, this is not this is not the uh the seamstress's convention. I thought everyone was going to be dressed up. Now I feel ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm surprised they haven't done? The scream ghost face. Oh, that would be a good one. Do you like scary movies? Of course I do. Obviously. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs>